Good day everybody. My name is Badr and today I'm making a tutorial on how to overclock your desktop to make a budget PC. The processor I'm using here is a Pentium E6600. As you can see here, it's clocked at 3.06 GHz. And the rate of the front side bus is 1066 MHz. The main board I'm using is an MSI G41. And I got 4 gigabytes of RAM running a dual channel mode. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to overclock your DDR2 RAM also. In order to do that, you have to look at your timings table so you can uh, change the uh, timings because you can't overclock your RAM, otherwise, you'll be running into uh, errors. Also, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to overclock your GeForce 9800GT if you got one. Okay, so I'm running Prime. My temperatures are uh, 63 Celsius, and it's not overclocked yet. Okay, now I restart and go to BIOS. Make the overclock. Okay, your cell menu. Actually, there are features that you need to disable before you do the overclock. CPU, CPU phase control. Phase control. You need to disable that. Okay, and cell menu. You have to disable spread spectrum. Uh, here, in the front. I I disable the, NS, the Intel AIST so I can uh, I ha I can have control over the uh, multiplier. Here. I'll uh, change the front side bus to 333, so that's like 1333 MHz, and I change my uh, front side bus DRM ratio to 1.5, so we, you get 1000 MHz of DRM frequency. In order to do that, also you need to change your timings in here, I'll show you how to uh, do that. Okay, 6 for the CIS latency, 7 for this one, 7, also 21, I've already done the calculations, and 31 for your TRFC, actually 22 for uh, TRAS, okay, now, you need to change the, v the uh, CPU voltage also, for more stability, and the best one, the best voltage I got is 1.35. I didn't get any uh, instability with this for voltage. So I've disabled spread spectrum, the fa CPU phase control, and uh, CPU voltage, everything else as you can see here. And save the changes and restart. Okay, my only bottleneck is the uh, hard disk that I have is uh, Western Digital 7200 RPM, and you'll see how uh, slow startup I have. I already I showed you how to overclock your CPU and DDR2. I'm gonna go over overclock in your uh, video card, which is very easy, and I'll show you a couple of gameplays in my Windows Experience Index. Okay, as you can see, a successful boot. No errors yet. I'll show you the temperature for the CPU. Okay. Let's see if you use the 
time. I'll show you my temps here. Only hundred percent. It's 60, 68 Celsius on load. Compared to the temps I get before the overall clock, it's only five degrees higher, which is not as significant. Okay, now show you uh, how to overclock your video card. See the memory DRM frequency is four hundred and ninety-nine megahertz. A good overclock. Okay. Stop the test. And right. Right. So I use NVIDIA tools to do the overclock. Okay, you go to the device settings, you change the core clock, you can have to keep that ratio between the core clock and the shader clock, which is 2.5. So 704 core clock, that's 100 megahertz increase, which is fine and decent. Core clock, for memory I increase by 100 also. You can go higher, but 100, 800 is enough. And so it would be uh, 1750 for the shadow clock. That's 2.5 ratio. Apply it. And as you can see, it's only 55 Celsius. The GPU temp here I have. Show you my Windows Experience Index. I've already run the assessment before. It's 6.9 for the CPU, 6.9 for the memory, 6.9, 6.9 for the graphics, and only 5.9 for hard, for my hard disk. So this is a really cheap desktop. You can it's like 45 bucks for your uh, for the motherboard. Uh, it's only like 50 bucks for the graphics card and uh, 80 bucks for the CPU. That I have here. Now I show you how uh, Medal of Honor maxed out and I have a good frame rate. Okay. Pretty much I have all overclocked everything in this desktop. <laughs> Only cost me like 300 bucks. Very cheap. I'm playing every game. I, I can play every game. You see the video settings are all maxed out on high. And even NTLAs. Okay. Battlefield also already then settings all maxed out except for anti-aliasing. 
is 2x for a higher frame rate I leave it on 2x showed you uh, how to overclock pretty much everything on your uh, desktop you can just go ahead and apply what I did on your desktop and good luck <laughs>